Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. I am back with a super quick project tonight, y'all. I um, just stuck these on this piece of cardboard that I had laying here. Um, but I am making alligator clip faux leather hair bows tonight to add in. So I will have regular hair bows. I will have um, the hair ties and I will also have these. Um, these will work well for the younger children, the little little ones. So as you see here, got it adhered on here. Um, got a pink one, and I've also got a white one so far. They don't take long to make, super easy. So I thought I would just jump on. Most of you probably know how to make these hair bows, um, but I thought I would let you know I am adding this into my craft fair. So I am utilizing my Cricut Design Space and I have made fabric bows before. Um, and so this is the same template I used before. You can also use a die to make your make bows. You can also use the envelope punch board to make bows. So you don't have to have the, Cric the Cricut Design Space. You can make bows different ways if you have any of those other products you'll be able just to make them right up. Now, if you're great at making just hand drawing, go for it, you know, or hand cutting, just go for it. If you don't have any of these, just don't give up, just, you know, give it a try. So anyway, this one is going to be like this uh, rose gold looking color. I thought that was pretty. I've already got it ready on my mat, as you see here. I'm gonna go ahead and, um, Get it ready to stick in my Cricut just so it would cut it out for me. Okay, so, and I just wanted you to see that this is one, two, three, four. This is about five inches in length right here, but then when you fold it, of course, it's smaller. So let's see. That's one, two. It's about three inches long. It'll be about three inches by the time you're done. So I've just got mine up there ready to roll. I'm going to click make it and I'm just going to click continue and I've already got my Cricut set on faux leather. Okay, it's thinking. Okay, so it's on the set material and here's all the different ones because I have it on other on my Cricut. I wanted to be able to make sure I chose the the faux leather and so here we go you can also click on browse all the materials and you could just go down and choose which one works best for you and I just chose um, this this paper thin faux leather and I'm just gonna click done so now I have it on the correct one my Cricut over here is lit up and ready to roll I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, get my mat up in there, get this cut, and I'll be right back. Okay, so as you see, here's my pieces that I cut from my Cricut. I still have a little bit left, so I don't want to waste it. You can use it for something else. It comes with two pieces for the bow. This is for the under part. This is the part that wraps around your bow. And I hand cut this little piece right here, y'all. And what I did is I put um, a piece right here. I glued it on. Now, there are, I've seen it where people have wrapped ribbon or whatever around here so the glue, when you glue it on, doesn't come through the holes. But um, I'm just putting this across here so the glue won't go through. So I'm just going to quickly do that. And I'm just going to try not to burn myself and just carefully get this on. I'm trying to go slow because I don't want to come out in a big blob. Hope everybody is having an awesome Friday evening. Okay, I'm just getting it down on here. I'm going to get this opened up because I don't want the glue to seep through. And I just covered it. I just kind of press it down. See if you do it carefully, it won't seep through. And I just did that so when I put the bow on, it won't go through. So see, you can do it just like that. I've got a little piece on the end here. I'm going to 
trim off, maybe. Okay, it's stuck on there, but I think the bow will cover it. So as you see, see it's looking like this. I have a little bit sticking up down here, so I'm gonna stick a little glue under there, right there. So I'm gonna stick some glue. Ever since I burned myself, y'all know if you watch my videos, glue guns really scare me because I really burned myself. It's around Christmas time. I burned myself quite badly. I did not feel good. I almost gave up my crafting because of it. But then I decided I don't give up, so. Okay, so I've got that prepared and all I did, like I said, is just glue that piece on. So then when I put the bow on there, um, everything will not seep through. So the first thing you're gonna do, of course, is put a little hot glue right over here. I am going to fold it toward the center. I get that adhered down. Okay. And I'm going to do the other side. Get that adhered down. Okay. It's so pretty. This rose gold is just absolutely gorgeous, y'all. It's really pretty. So on Mother's Day, my husband and I, we went to a movie and um, I had to stop at Joann's and pick up, I can't remember what I had to pick up. And so I already have the, I already have the um, heat press and they have a smaller one now. My husband was like asking the guy, do y'all have those in stock? I said, I don't need a heat press. I've already got a heat press. You bought it for me. He was going to buy it for me because it was smaller. Because he asked me, what kind of machine do you want? He's so sweet. So, so supportive of my crafts. So he doesn't care about doing them. He doesn't want to come in here and look at them all the time. But he is supportive of my habit. My habit and hobbies. Okay, I'm getting the glue on the other edge. Take your time on these. You don't want to burn yourself. You don't want to have glue strings everywhere. Okay. Just like this. I got a little bit of my faux leather string hanging out. I'm going to trim that up. Okay. So there's the second one. And all I'm going to do is glue them on top of each other. How beautiful is this, y'all? Let's see which one I want to put. They're the same size, so it doesn't really matter. I think I'll put the glue here. I'm just gonna put my glue gonna going across. Add my other bow on the top. If you haven't made these, then this is a good video for you if you wish to make um, alligator clip hair bows. Um, but if you have, then maybe this is a refresher for you. Um, maybe you do it a little differently than I do, but it's all good. We all have our different techniques, how we do things. Oh, y'all, going to work today was really hard because it's so hard, like, when you're, like, going to be, you know, you're going to be off for three days. So, because being a holiday on Monday, so... Yeah, it was really hard being at work today. I didn't want to be there. I don't think any of my coworkers did too, because we were all so proud when it hit four o'clock. The ones of us that leave at four, we were so proud of that. Okay, I glued the back on. So yes, it was just absolutely wonderful when four o'clock hit. Or in my case, a few minutes before, because I got there early. Now I've got my little tiny piece here. It's gonna go in the center. Uh, to put that glue in there and let it harden. Of 
before I do anything else. This color is absolutely beautiful, y'all. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Got a little glue coming out the edge. I'm going to try to get that off now before I go any farther. I don't want the glue to be sticking out of my bow. It'll be okay, just like that. Okay, let's work on the back. Let me get the glue off my fingers. There we go. Okay. I was watching TV with my husband a while ago, and he went, you're not going to do no video? So yeah, I will in a minute. I was watching some show. You know, I'm watching one of his man shows. The man, when I, I call them man shows whenever there's like guns and stuff like that. He likes cop type shows. I'm more of a comedy or a love story type show. Actually, my very most favorite movie ever, and I have watched it so many times is Mamma Mia 1 and Mamma Mia 2. Let me leave me a comment below if you've seen those. I love it. I have both of them on DVD. I went to the theater to see them. I absolutely love them. And I have watched both of them so many times and I'm not tired of them yet. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to adhere some glue across the strip I put on here. And some glue, y'all. Sorry about my arm there, y'all. Gotta get my glue in here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Don't drop it again. Get it on here, press it down. I like to make sure I'm opening up my clip, make sure no glue got in there. If it did, just get it out, it's all good. I'm going to stick my finger under there for a second. Let me see if I can find a piece of paper. I'll just use this. And I like to just stick them on something like this so then they would start to dry. But look, aren't they pretty, y'all? They are so pretty and so simple to make, y'all. And like I said, if you do not have a Cricut, um, if you don't have a Cricut and you have maybe the envelope punch board, um, the envelope punch board makes bows, um, um, if you have a die, that would be great too. But um, let me just show you quickly too the brand of these clips. And I got these. I still got glue on my fingers, y'all. This is the brand I bought the, at Walmart of these alligator clips. And I think that there's one, two, three, four. There were six in one pack. Because I'm not going to do too many of these. Probably like eight or so for my craft fair. I'm not going to do too many. Um, but yeah, if I don't sell them, it's all good because I have a friend that has a little girl that um, can use them. So I'm not worried about that. So anyway, that is it, y'all. Aren't they so sweet? Look at that. Oh my goodness. And they're so fun. So I'm trying to figure out too how to package them. Um, I'm thinking about using this pack of tags I have and maybe a cut a slit in here. So it can go through and and I could put like, put them like on here like this and I'll put a nice bow on the top. Um, but yeah, before my craft fair, I'll let you know how I'm going to package them. Um, and I think I've decided I'm not gonna do any craft fair until the fall because, oh my goodness, I wanted to do the one here in Texas or here um, at the end of June. But in Texas, it's 100 degrees, and it is way too hot. And if you guys live in Texas, you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's just way too hot. I've done it before. I sweated from the time I got there until the time I got home. And it's just, ugh, it was just too hot and miserable and humid, and I just can't do it. So anyway, I'm not going to do the one in June. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to. Um, if it was like next weekend, yeah, sure, probably, because it's not as hot yet. But by the time it hits the end of June, we're looking at major heat waves. So, anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this nice little easy project. And, um, yeah, 
I think that they're turning out, they turn out so sweet. I love them. I think the rose gold is my favorite because I just love it. It's just beautiful. I like the white one too. I like them all. So anyway, there we go, y'all. Okay, so I wanted to do a quick shout out. This one comes from Am Low. Um, this was on underneath my video where I made the cute little um, notebooks the other night, um, night before last. But anyway, she wrote again, your crafty hands. Yes, I can make my own, but I would surely love to buy from you. Even a P.O. box shop for us to shop from you. No pressure, LOL, loving your crafts, and she liked the $5 idea. So, Amlo, um, thanks so much for writing me. Thanks for following me. I appreciate it. I see your comments quite often. I'm writing back and forth to you. But anyway, yeah, I didn't know what people thought. I've talked to my husband last night, and he told me, why don't you sell them? So, I'm thinking about probably doing my stuffed dogs, maybe. Um, more to come on this. I'm thinking about it. Um, not sure if I'd ever open an Etsy shop, but I might sell a few here on my channel. Um, so more to come on that, but leave me a comment below and let me know what you think, if you would, guys would even be interested. Um, but yeah, um, what I would do is make up some, show you what I had, and if you were interested, you know, we would PayPal it and all that. Now I have to decide how much it's going to cost as far as the postage and everything like that. So more to come on that. Just let me know if you guys would even be interested. And thanks so much, Amlo, for writing me. You are always so sweet and I really appreciate you following me. And y'all, I, I there are so many wonderful people out there that writes me all the time. I just want to tell you guys thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. It's 8.30 on, oh, quarter to nine on a Friday night. So I think that um, maybe I'll have an ice cream with my husband. Um, so anyway, yep, time to hit the freezer because it's hot in here with my hot glue gun on. Anyway, y'all, hope you guys have an awesome night and I hope you have an awesome weekend. I'll try to be back tomorrow the next day with my next video. Uh, but anyway, have a great Memorial Day weekend. Bye, y'all.